give you all a quick tutorial on how to resync a transponder ECU to a used or a new ECU on a 05, I believe it's 05 and up, Toyota, Lexus, or Scion vehicle. This one in particular is a 05 Corolla XRS. If you picture of the diagram that I kind of set up, doesn't matter what layout your DLC connector is, sometimes it'll be upside down, sometimes it'll be right side up, but all that matters it is fourth pin from the left on the top, fourth pin from the right on the bottom. You'll bridge those two connectors, or two pins together, sorry. Um, I in particular used, well, I believe it's a 20 gauge wire. You can use a paper clip, I don't think it really matters, as long as you can bridge those pins together. Not too bad. Um, you will need an existing master key, so you're not going to be able to do anything off of a uh, slave key or a, what's the, what's the word for it, the valet key. So, it needs to be a master key. What you'll do, you'll swap in your new ECU, whatever, used ECU, tuned ECU. In my case, it's, it was a tuned ECU, but you'll turn your ignition on. Get some beeps. Hold on one second. Okay, so once all the beeps are done, so I can actually talk, you'll turn your ignition on. You will bridge the connector or pins together. It's, you know, my, my camera actually is focusing pretty well on them, but fourth pin from the left on the top, fourth pin from the right on the bottom, you will bridge those two together. So you will have your ignition on, bridge those two pins together, you will have them bridged together for 30 minutes, so you can set a timer on your phone, something like that. And then you'll turn your ignition back off after those 30 minutes, turn it back off, and you'll pull the, the jumper lead that you put in the DLC connector back out. And then that should be the transponder ECU and the new or used ECU should be synced together so you'll be able to start the car.